Um, next presentation is Alessandro Ludovico. He's the director in chief of Neural Magazine and one of the founders of NetTime. He has been guest researcher at Wilhelm de Kooning Academy in Rotterdam. Okay, thank you very much. Um, um, Francesco asked me to make a presentation about Neural, which is the magazine I'm editing uh, since quite a long time. So I will talk about this magazine and uh, how it has been developed uh, um, since the beginning uh, and how I tried somehow, maybe I, I can do it unplugged if I scream enough. to embody uh, a kind of different concept for the printed magazine and uh, publishing at large. Uh, Neural Magazine was founded in Bari, Anton Bari, in southeastern Italy. Uh, it's a little bit out of the map, uh, you can see, in November 1922, so it's still active, it's still printed, uh, after 17 years, uh, and uh, trying to understand uh, the context when you know, it starts in 93, I would like just to point uh, three of the main interests that the magazine uh, um, has always been uh, talking about. Uh, and so the context in Italy in the early 90s was about a specific thing that was called the Italian cyberpunk mo political movement. Uh, which was quite different from the science fiction literature one. Many of the people here, uh, I mean, a uh, few of the people present here were quite involved in that. Uh, it was the cover of a very influential uh, anthology of texts uh, which generated so many, uh, so much interest, uh, and I would say that also generated uh, uh, my specific involvement uh, in uh, uh, a critical perspective on the use of technologies, uh, the rising technologies in the early 90s. The other scenario that we were quite fond of was the homemade electronic music, which was also uh, quite uh, new in the early 90s. Uh, there was the so-called bedroom generation of musicians that for the first time uh, were able to create uh, successful products in electronic music that were not related uh, to traditional education in music and or to establish relationships with uh, um, official music labels. The third scenario was uh, the BBS scene, the bulletin board system scene, which, of, which as well was quite active. Uh, in Italy, all these uh, three scenarios were quite interconnected. What I mean is that the bedroom generation <coughs> uh, in the producing electronic music started to share files on the BBS systems uh, and uh, the cyberpunk uh, political time movement had uh, started to discuss nationally um, about his own issues uh, on BBS systems, so as you see, um, what we were really interested in at that time was the concept of a network that was uh, um, disrupting the previous uh, kind of uh, cultural uh, um, shaping in these three areas. So, how Neuro Magazine started? Uh, actually, it started because <coughs> uh, in 91, I was uh, uh, working since one year before for an electronic music label in Bari, and I managed to convince the, the guy of this label, I was um, making graphic design for him, to produce uh, this virtual reality handbook, which was one of the first publications uh, uh, printed publications about virtual reality. And uh, it was also a music product as well. Th there was um, a attached CD with music inspired by this virtual reality concept. But the, this Slim Handbook, it was only 40 pages, Italian and English, uh, was meant uh, to be not a simple publication, but as a tool. 